Well, I intended to get out at six o'clock. Now I think it's after eight because the rain won't stop, but sometimes you just gotta go. So Oregon Trail, here I come. Good morning, Sylvia. Welcome to day two of our adventure. I'm not even sure I want to talk about day one. I've always wondered how I would handle riding a day in the rain and I found out. I delayed my departure on day one, two hours from six until eight because of the rain locally and rode nine hours in the rain and then it finally stopped and rode another three hours uh, after that. And I found out that the Frog Togs rain gear works really well but I went through five different pairs of gloves and none of them worked. So I've got to find a better solution for, for my hands, but everything else worked out pretty good. And today it's about 45 degrees. We're going to travel about 500 miles to Kansas city. And then on day three, the fun starts. Yesterday was a 600 mile day and more than 400 miles were in the rain. It was, it was a rough day, but we made it. We're safe. Let's go. Okay. So we're off leaving Clarksville, Tennessee. And I'm looking for my sunshades and I can't find them. Lori says they're not at home, so I packed them somewhere so that I could easily find them. And now I can't find them. Some of you people know how that goes. The Ohio River Bridge. Hopefully you can see the St. Louis Arch. Since I'm traveling the Oregon Trail this trip, I thought about going up in the arch. I've passed it a dozen times or more in my lifetime. And today's a Saturday and I'm on a motorcycle. I thought, well, it'd be easy to find parking. And then I looked online and the way you go up in the arch is they put you in a little pod with several other people knee to knee and you go up at an incline to the top of the arch. And I looked at that thing and there's more room in a country outhouse than it was in those little pods and knee to knee with four or five other people I don't even know I decided that that was something that I didn't really care to do so uh, probably will never make it to the arch then but it's always neat to look at yeah here's a much better view of the arch except for this car hauler I planned my departure date so that I would go through St. Louis on a, on a Saturday and be in Independence, Kansas City on a Sunday to start my, my Route 66 sites. So I expected traffic to be light, but wow, there's no one on the road. The Missouri River, and I will talk more about the Missouri River later because it has a part to play in the, the Oregon Trail and the American expansion in the mid-1800s. Wow, towing, state police, another towing. Oh, it's just a breakdown. Or it could have been a little touch and go here between the truck and the this vehicle. Anyway, but yeah. Anyway, I don't think anyone got hurt. Thank you for watching this video on our YouTube channel, Our Retirement Antics. You may not know that we also have a website, ourretirementantics.com. Here I'll have blogs, photos, and track logs of our travels each day. But one thing that I really like are the Google Maps. Here I've overlaid the Oregon Trail on a Google Map, and as you can see, it starts east of Kansas City in Independence, Missouri, and crosses the country to Oregon. Sylvia and I will follow the Oregon Trail from Kansas City to western Wyoming, where we will pick up the California Trail and go into Salt Lake City through Nevada over to Lake Tahoe. Now, the thing that I really like about my map is that over the past few weeks, I've researched places that I want to see along the Oregon and California trails. These include things like the original trail ruts that are still there after 170 years, pioneer graves, ferry crossings, just a variety of historical things that I enjoy. And as Sylvia and I visit each one of these, we'll be taking photos and doing updates on the website, doing YouTube video, and updating this map along the way. So we hope that you will follow along with us.